Lions Gym has been crucial for my own development, obviously both in the sport and outside of life. Simple things like confidence. I don't think I was a super confident kid when I was growing up, not to the extent I am at now. Uh, so I can fully um, give props to Lions Gym and, and the sport of MMA for, for giving me this confidence. And we've had students from university coming through these doors. Um, we've had people literally move more or less to Coventry for this gym because it's done so much for their lives. So um, yeah, again, it goes beyond words what this gym has done and what it means to people. So I don't particularly have a background per se. I mean, uh, in terms of just sports in general, I started playing rugby when I was about 11. I played rugby for about five years. And then when I got to about 15, 16, that's when I moved over to MMA. You know, I seen the UFC on TV and decided that I was going to pursue MMA. For a couple of years, I did specialize in jiu-jitsu. So I sort of put things like striking and wrestling on the back burner and really started to focus on jiu-jitsu. Until I was about a blue belt, I'd say. I would consider my style MMA based. I try and, yeah, be as balanced everywhere as possible. So when I, you know, come up with an opponent or when an opponent's given to me, um, I can exploit their weaknesses. So I knew more or less straight away that I wanted to fight. I seen the Ultimate Fighter UK versus USA when I was 15, maybe 14. And from that moment on, I knew that I wanted to fight. So I, I always enjoyed combat and always had a little bit of a little man syndrome, wanted to prove my toughness. But yeah, for, as soon as I seen, seen the Ultimate Fighter, I knew that's exactly what I was going to pursue and I was going to fight. Local fighters inspire me that I've got to the UFC, so obviously the coaches that I'm around with Andre and Jimmy both making their way and competing in the UFC. Even local fighters that I don't really train with and don't really know, you know, people that we see over in Birmingham, because they are so local to us obviously being based in Coventry, when I see that they get a shot in the UFC, it makes me realise that the UFC and, and the success in the sport is a reality. For me, Andre and Jimmy, they're very opposing characters. I mean, not massively different, but they're definitely on different spectrums. You know, like when we see the, the commitment, the, the, the tough nose, hard work ethic of Jimmy. And then we see the, the relaxed and the composure, the um, almost the meditative state of Andre. And that's where you want the balance in between these two characters. When you learn from Braulio, especially on a one-to-one -one level, that's when you can start to understand how and why he's so good at jiu-jitsu. It's very hard to put into words as to um, how much of an impact he's had on my style in terms of techniques, but I mean, it is considerable. You know, a lot of my jiu-jitsu uh, development has been from Braulio. What he teaches is very profound. It will stick inside your brain uh, and it will tend not to disappear because, I mean, he is one of the greatest jiu-jitsu athletes that has stepped foot on this planet, really. Lightweight is my preferable division, but unfortunately, lightweights tend to be bitches and they don't want to fight me, that's the reality of it. I've got a long list of people that have refused to fight me. You know, if I, if I continue not getting fights, I will have to release this list and call some people out. Like I told the promoters, I'll fight anyone and I'll embody this, you know. If somebody walked up to me on the street and spat on my mum, I'm another gun. But look, we're fighters. Of course, we're martial artists, but we're fighters. A lot of people are calling themselves fighters, but they don't want to actually go in there and take a fight with people. You know, they want to, you know, build up their record and pick and choose their opponents. I'm not for this, you know. We should be wanting to go in there and, and test ourselves, test our metal, see what sort of mental fortitude you've got. This is what I'm here for. Um, but again, people don't seem to want to embody this fighter mentality. They just want to put fighter on their Instagram handle, you know, and think that this is going to make them some sort of superstar. There's so many ways the fight will go. I've got a couple of ways I really want to happen. I'm not going to talk no trash, but I don't think he can handle my power. I see two results. Well, to be fair, probably three results. The only way this man can beat me is if he holds me down and dry humps me to a 15-minute decision. The way I beat him is I either knock him out or I submit. You know, I'm a black belt in jiu-jitsu, but everybody thinks I'm a grappler until I punch him in the face. There's not many people in this country and in my division that can sleep people, that can hit people and fold them in half. I can and he's going to feel that. I've got a good idea how Dylan Manning's going to want to fight me. 
It's exactly the style I wanted to come up against, so I think it will bring out the best in me.